In this video, we will solve a right triangle given the hypotenuse and an angle. In the given triangle, the hypotenuse C is 52.6 units and angle A is 28 degrees. We will find side A, side B, and angle B. To the left, we have all the formulas we need to solve a right triangle. If you watched one of the previous videos, then we went over these formulas, but if you did not watch, then we will go over these formulas one more time. All of them refer to this right triangle with the sides A and B and the hypotenuse C. Angle A is opposite of side A, angle B is opposite of side B, and angle C is the opposite of the hypotenuse. Below we have sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A and sine, cosine, and tangent of angle B. Sine of angle A equals the opposite side A divided by hypotenuse C. Cosine of angle A equals the adjacent side B divided by hypotenuse C. And tangent of angle A equals the opposite side A divided by the adjacent side B. If we want to use angle B, then sine of angle B equals the opposite side B divided by hypotenuse C, cosine of angle B equals the adjacent side A divided by hypotenuse C, and tangent of angle B equals the opposite side B divided by the adjacent side A. In any of these trigonometric functions, we work with one angle and two sides. Now, below we have the Pythagorean theorem, and that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If we know two sides of a right triangle, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. To find the hypotenuse c, we use c equals square root of a squared plus b squared. To find side a, the formula is square root of c squared minus b squared, and to find side B, the formula is square root of C squared minus A squared. And now below we have two more formulas, and they are the formulas to find angle A and angle B. A equals 90 degrees minus angle B, and B equals 90 degrees minus angle A. As we know, in any triangle, the sum of all three angles equals 180 degrees, and because in this triangle we have a right angle that is 90 degrees, then the sum of angle A and angle B is also 90 degrees. Therefore, if we know angle B and we have to find angle A, we just subtract angle B from 90 degrees. And if we know angle A and we have to find angle B, we just subtract angle A from 90 degrees. Now, let's go back to the problem we have to solve. Here we have to find side A, side B, and angle B. There are different ways of starting this problem. For example, if we know angle A and the hypotenuse C, we can find side A by using sine of A equals A over C. But if we want to find side B first, then we would use cosine of A equals b over c. We could also start by finding angle b first, and because we know angle a, we would use the formula b equals 90 degrees minus angle a. This seems to be the easiest step, so let's find angle b first. The formula is b equals 90 degrees minus angle a, now we will replace A with 28 degrees, so we will have 90 degrees minus 28 degrees, then B will be equal to 62 degrees. Next we will find one of these two sides. For example, we can start by finding side A. For this we will use the formula sine of angle A equals A over C. In this formula, we will replace angle A and the hypotenuse C with the given numbers and we will solve for side A. So if we replace, we will have sine of 28 degrees equals A over 
52.6. To solve for a, we need to multiply both sides of this equation by 52.6. Then on the right, 52.6 will cancel and a will be equal to 52.6 sine of 28 degrees. Here we will use a calculator and we will get that a equals 24.7 units. So far we found angle B, side A and now we have to find side B. To find side B we can use the formula cosine of angle A equals B over C but this is not the only trigonometric function we can use. Because we already know angle A, angle B, side A and the hypotenuse C to find side B we could use any of the trigonometric functions that has side B. For example, if we want to use tangent of angle B equals side B over side A, then we would replace angle B with 62 degrees and side A with 24.7 units. Then we would solve this equation for B. Another option for finding side B is to use the Pythagorean theorem. The formula is b equals square root of c squared minus a squared and this is what we will use. Let's write down the formula b equals square root of c squared minus a squared and now let's replace c and a. So we will have square root of 52.6 squared minus 24.7 squared. Then if we use a calculator we will get that B is approximately 46.4 units. Now as you see to find side B I decided to go with this formula instead of any of these trigonometric functions because once we know two sides it seems easier to find the third side just by using the Pythagorean theorem. Now we have angle A, side A and side B and the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.